Hi Sagittarius and welcome back with me Jackie here on Romeo's Tarot. Um, I'm going to do a general reading um, although I put September the months it doesn't mean it has to be for that month it's just a general reading. Um, first of all as you always know I always pull my oracle cards first so um, let's get on with the reading and see what we have for you Sagittarius. Okay so we're going to start with your first card which is from the Lenormand deck you do have the uh, number 12 uh, this is the owls so if you look at these two cards put joker there because it means something else in another reading I do so um, <coughs> maybe you are a bit of a joker Sagittarius all right um, we also have the number three there that represents Jupiter so um, yeah so very strong. I think you're seeing something here. Uh, you're very wise about something and you're seeing something uh, maybe that others don't notice. All right. So there's nothing that misses your attention here in some way. OK, so moving on, uh, you have this revolution card from the past life oracle. So you have this revolution card. Uh, I'll just uh, read to you a couple of the meanings of this card. So the revolution is uh, is about a hard working person who may feel unappreciated, making you might be making you feel some sort of resentment towards your uh, to those you work for, your boss, your colleagues, or something like that. So yeah, so that means that or you're a passionate, perceptive person who sees in qualities was it in e equalities no sorry it's, e is that a word inequalities yes so people not being treated uh fairly in some way so with the owls being here these birds so we this is where you see something that others don't see um and you're not going to sort of stand by and watch it happen all right so you may want to step in in some way and make sure that everyone is treated fairly. All right. So if someone's being treated unfairly, maybe at your work or something like that, um, you you're not going to stand for it. You know, you're going to sort of step in and do something about it. All right. It could be with yourself as well. If you're not treated fairly, um, not being paid the right money or something like that, then, you, you know, you're not going to stand by and not say anything about it. All right, because you know you know what you're worth. So there we have that. So yeah, sticking up for yourself and uh, saying what's on your mind, maybe. And we do have another number three here because we have the bluff card, and this is from the Oracle of the Radiant Sun, the bluff card. So this is all about throwing yourself into an un maybe an unfamiliar situation, all right, or challenge in some way. You may need to bluff your way through something, all right? So, uh, yeah, just keep that in mind and only you will know what that means for you, Sagittarius. And as I say, with all the signs, it's not going to be for every single, you know, everyone that watches is a Sagittarius or a Sagittarius moon or a Sagittarius in their chart. You know, it's going to be different for everybody and it has a different meaning for everybody. Your bluff could be completely something different from somebody else's bluff <laughs> or revolution all right so let's have a look and that card is what is it anyway yeah it is Jupiter in Gemini all right so really sort of speaking out and um, again a card of uh, really sort of I think stepping in as well with that Jupiter in Gemini Okay, let's move on. So from the tea leaf, you do have the month of April. So uh, it's for you guys, uh, this could be quite significant in some way, the month of April, maybe the month of April that's just gone, you know, this year, or maybe it might be something coming up in the month of April next year. But whatever this is, it's something that's uh, happened or been going on in the month of April or will be happening in the month of April. All right. 
So that's your oracle cards. So now I'm going to pull some tarot cards for you from the Chakra Wisdom Tarot. And we're just going to see what comes up for you, Sagittarius. Okay. So let's have a look. Let's just give these a good shuffle. Difficult to shuffle these cards. So, what do we have? Sagittarius. Right, one more shuffle. Cut the cards. I don't like that. Let's see your first card. Six of coins. Okay. Card of give and take. Equality. Balance with a six, um, giving to uh, those that deserve those. Yeah, so the revolutionary card, maybe you feel um, you're not being paid you, for doing the same job. Or maybe you're doing the same job. If this is work, just an example, if this is work related, um, you're doing the same job maybe as a couple of others and you're being paid differently that could be for some of you that's the message i'm getting through there um so it's about equal maybe equal pay for all uh maybe that's uh the sort of situation you're dealing with at the moment let's have a look at your past oh six of wands lovely all right so we do have a lot of success another card um is this violet or indigo? I think it's indigo. Anyway. So yeah, six of wands. So some sort of success in the past with something uh, that you've uh, been doing or something you've done in the past. So you've been quite successful or you've been a successful person overall in your past. All right. So you've always managed to sort of come out on top here in some way. All right, Sagittarius. Let's have a look at your root position, your foundation. Okay, so your focus is probably on something uh, new. This could be a new job, a new business venture, uh, some sort of new opportunity. This is uh, something that's uh, in the sort of foundation here. Okay, let's have a look. So let's have a look at your crowning position. Oh, lovely. So we have the nine of coins. All right. Self-satisfaction here in some way. This is what you're thinking of. You're thinking of your uh, security, your, your financial independence, uh, not having to uh, worry about money, uh, being sort of, um, being, you know, sort of well off in some way, you know, whatever it is for you. It doesn't always have to be about money, but this this could be emotional uh, satisfaction as well, where you, you feel content um, with your relationship, you know, with your friends, with what you have in your life, your family, anything like that. All right. So that's that's on your mind. Securing your um securing a good future for yourself okay so let's have a look at the future oh so we do have the devil here in the future so some sort of uh, temptation here going on um i'm going to clarify that actually so the devil is all about temptation addiction um it's about uh, not being tempted to uh walk down the wrong road in some way all right let me clarify the devil with the ace of wands okay so you've got two aces now so you're thinking so this is clarifying the devil the ace of wands so thinking about taking action so in the future you're thinking about taking action on something that could be um what can i say um if you're thinking of taking this action, it's on something in the future that 
that could have some sort of uh, negative, maybe some sort of negative consequences in some way, because uh, is it maybe it's the wrong the wrong action to take when the devil there is with that uh, ace of wands. Yeah, because next you have the four of swords. All right. Uh, I also look at this not only as um, a card of retreat, you know, sort of retreat in rest. It could leave you feeling uh, really whatever it is. Whatever it is you're going to be taking action on in the future could leave you more drained than what you already are. You know what I'm saying? So um, better the devil, sort of better the devil you know sort of thing, yeah, than the devil you don't know. I hope that's making sense there in some way. Okay, Sagittarius. Yeah, as I say, they're pretty short and to the point. So I don't do long readings like I used to because I just don't have the time. But this is just an hobby of mine and I love doing it. Uh, so I'll leave that there with you for now, Sagittarius. I do hope it resonated with a couple of you. And I'll be back very soon. So please do take care and good luck with whatever it is that you're doing. And I'll be back very soon. Bye, Sagittarius. Bye.